Hey YouTube, Trip here with another Banggood review. And what we're going to be reviewing today is this BR22 by 12 Raystar brushless motor. Now, I'm going to be comparing this motor to another motor, which is this Horizon Hobby motor. It's probably a Park Zone motor. Um, they more or less the same size. That's 1,400 kV, this is 1,300 kV. Um, we generally fly the plane on this motor over here, but the plastic prop, well, the plastic engine mounting is not that good anymore, so we use the metal engine mounting, which doesn't fit this, from the race star motor, and we're going to test it out with this. Uh, both motors are going to be running on the same propeller, and uh, I don't have a bunch of fancy gadgets to tell you exactly what the specifications are going to be like, but... It doesn't really matter what the specs are, it's how you fly the plane. I mean, if this motor feels as good to fly as this one, then it doesn't really matter what the thrust is. I mean, you're going to notice those things when you're flying. So, let's put the plane in the sky, let's do a bit of mild aerobatics and see if the, if the motor is actually worth it. Then. So, I'm just going to plug that in. We can hear the motor. Motor's telling us that it's got electricity, but it's not connected to anything just yet. It's not engaged, which is nice. I like it. Put this puppy on the floor. And we're going to switch it on. And that sound tells you the motor's engaged. Now we're going to go ahead and engage the throttle and take off. To be quite honest, I don't notice much of a difference. Uh, the stall speed is a little bit higher. But either than that, uh, there is no real difference. Yeah, there literally is no noticeable difference between the few motors. Like I said, the stall speed is a little bit lower, and the thrust or the amount that the motor carries the plane on half throttle is a little bit less than the original motor that comes out of the airplane. But on the whole, can I notice a big difference? No, plane still does the same thing it used to. Uh, Bear in mind that the motor that comes out of this airplane is six or seven times the price of this little race star motor that I'm putting in. Yeah. Our neighbor's being a complete fucking asshole by making a noise with these mowers on the video, but... Yeah. Um, mind our neighbor, he's a bit of a dick he's putting his lawnmower on in the middle of our video, which is kind of a cock thing to do, but then again, everybody here acts like cock sometimes. Uh, yeah, this motor performs well. I like it. Um, is it as powerful as the Horizon Hobby motor? You know what? No, it's not. N not exactly. But I, I don't think that matters because. The Horizon Hobby motor is six times the price, or seven times the price of this motor. And this motor does, well, I, you can have exactly the same amount of fun with it. So why pay seven times more for something when for seven times less you can 
have the same flying experience. Do I recommend this race style motor? Yes, I do. Um, it's just one thing I have noticed with this motor though, is it sort of bounces forward when the plane comes into thrust. And I mean, we can have a look at that. It moves forward and you can see this in the air, more or less. What? It pulls away from the mounting, but I'm not so sure if it's supposed to do that. Maybe, maybe it's meant to do that, but as for power, I don't see the difference. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to check the voltage of the battery to see how much amps I pulled, or how much power I pulled out of the battery in that short amount of time. But yeah, as for this race star motor, it's 1,400 kV. Should you buy it? Yes, you should. Um, is it a good motor? I'm not so sure how long it's going to last. Though. It is a bit warm for that short flight. I mean, it is really warm for that short flight, so maybe it'll burn out sooner than expected. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll get back to you guys again in a few months' time with everything I've bought from Banggood to see how long they actually last. But as for this one right now, I like it. It's good. It's bang for your buck. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.